What is going on, my ninjas? I apologize you guys didn't get a review from me last week. I did it and everything. But every time I transferred it over from my iPad to my laptop, it would have a gray background. Like you can hear my voice, but it's distorted at some time. So I just gave up. I said, fuck it. But honestly, this episode is the same as last episode. But I will say that the anime is doing a much better job of getting me to understand why Obito likes Ren so much because in the manga it just seems like you know he was just a normal you know teenage boy that had a crush on this girl and he just got upset when she died but no I mean she had his back she even helped him cheat on the test which I don't understand how he failed and had to settle for a vacancy so uh yeah that was really weird but like I said it's just doing a much better job of showing what she did to make him like her so I can kind of understand where he's coming from when she died like I have nobody else in this world that has my back like that so I want to get that back so I'll do whatever it takes I understand that way way better by watching these episodes but I mean as a reviewers uh, point of view for this episode it's not really that much to say because most of this episode was what we got when Obito was first revealed when the mask came off but with words like if you remember the part where uh, Obito was fighting Guy that was shown before a lot of this episode was shown before but without voice acting it was just music but if I want to wrap this video up in under a minute I could I could just say that Obito is having regrets and Naruto's talk no jutsu is super fucking effective and a fucking critical hit. But am I the only one that believes that Ren should understand what she's doing to Obito? I mean, he is so shy around her and I believe she notices it. But um, I'm not sure if she understands that he does like her. She should because at that age, even if she is young, she should have some type of idea. Like last episode, I didn't get to talk about it with you guys. When she got up in his face like she was about to kiss him, he jumped back. I mean, his face turned red and everything. That should have told her right there that, hey, maybe I need to establish that I just want to be his friend and not give him any hopes. So if I die... He won't try to destroy the fucking world. But I mean, she is just so friendly in these two episodes and a lot friendlier than just a friend should be, in my opinion. I mean, I wouldn't mind having a friend like that, but I mean, damn, it really does seem at moments like she does like him. So I really want to believe that she actually does know. And that scene where Obito had the flowers behind his back and everybody was around. Nobody. How can nobody see those flowers drop when they fell. I mean, how could they not see them fall out of his asshole, man? I mean, it was a big scene and everything. There were at least like six different ninjas there. At least episodes aren't bad by any means. I do enjoy seeing Obito when he was younger because Kakashi got it was one of my favorite specials ever in Naruto. I mean, it was just so epic to see how Kakashi got his Sharingan and how awesome the original Obito was and I like that he's not just this wimp this entire flashback like he actually gets the fireball jutsu down he can hang upside down like some Batman shit and I just like seeing him build his character up and finally become a chunin but he still did get his ass whooped by Guy again which is hilarious it's just as hilarious the second time around but I mean I can kind of understand why he's late this episode because I mean who's going to say no to an old lady that needs help getting to a hospital but is that why he's late all the time? I mean, is he just too busy jacking off? Does he wake up late? What's going on with that? He has been late to every single meeting except for one, I believe. But I'm not going to dive too deep into this flashback because the episode pretty much speaks for itself and we have gotten this content before, so. But I will say that Obito in like the real Ten Tails Jinchuriki Obito right now, it's obvious, it's completely obvious by his face that Naruto is about to win this Takano Jutsu fight. Although in the preview, we hear him say, like, I will never come to your side, but we still hear Naruto talking, so the Takano Jutsu isn't over yet. But we do get spoiled on the outcome of this fight. I'm not going to go into it. If you have not seen the preview and don't want to be spoiled, don't watch it because it straight out tells you, hey, this person is going to win and this person is going to lose. But I did enjoy these episodes. Like I said, it gives me a better understanding of why Rin was so important to Obito instead of him just being a heartbroken, horny little kid. So 
Because he really didn't have anyone else there for him at all besides her. Now that we see what's going on in the flashbacks and whatnot. And we still have a few more flashbacks to go through in next episode. But that should that should be it. But tell me what you guys thought about this episode. I mean, Ren is totally misleading this guy. Whether she realizes it or not, I think she actually does. But anyway, tell me what you guys think. This has been JB Dutch. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.